Hey, what's up, everybody? Fred Minnick here, and today I am going to review a lovely George T. Stack from the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Go ahead and get that poured right now. And let's, uh, you know, you know how I like to do the history. I like to give a little details about the whiskey. If you want to go straight to the tasting, I'll have that uh, time code in the description and or the comments. Now, this one is, uh, this is uh, 15 years and four months old. It's from warehouses C-I-K-L and M at the Buffalo Trace and Buffalo and Trace Antique Buffalo at the Buffalo Trace Distillery. I almost said the Buffalo Trace Antique Distillery. That would have been funny, actually. Been very funny. Uh, but a little bit about this brand. Uh, George T. Stagg was a real person who was an iconic manager or CEO or president of a distilling company and really did a fine job of managing uh, his whiskey his whiskey line and he did he did more than just one brand but he there was a brand called George T Stag and it was actually considered to be the best selling bourbon of the 1950s however early times disputed that and there was a whole uh whole thing between the two and ended up having government hearings over it i, I talked about this in my recent uh cistern room um history lesson in club marzipan you can also find it in my book bourbon the rise fall and rebirth of american whiskey if you'd like to learn about either one of those club marzipan or my books you can find links in the description but at any rate, George T. Stagg just kind of fell out, fell off the face of the earth when the '60s came around, and by the '70s, it was a it was a brand that was long forgotten in most of the world, and we don't really start to see it resurface until Buffalo Trace brings it back with the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Now, when they did that, they when they did that in the early 2000s, they they sent a signal, a signal to the world that bourbon had super premium, awesome products that compete could compete with the best scotches in the world. Now, that was what the world of whiskey knew. The world of whiskey knew scotch. They did not know bourbon at a high level, nor did they know rye at a high level. So the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection is very, very important for the rebirth of uh, American whiskey, especially bourbon. If BTAC does not come around in the early 2000s, I don't know how uh, how many people, Pappy Van Winkle alone, could have converted into bourbon fans. Oh, they'd have converted into Pappy fans, but I don't know. I don't know um, if if enough brands would see what Buffalo Trace was doing with Pappy and would try to mimic that. But the Buffalo Trace and Tea Collection changed the entire game. And the very the very first and the most important brand in the entire collection has always been Stag. Stag and Weller are kind of like that one two punch of the of the best in that lineup. Now, I was very vocal about not liking Weller, thinking it was not nearly as good as last year's, of course. Last year's Weller won my blind tasting in my top 100, and Stag finished third. So I obviously have high hopes for this year's Stag. This is clocking in at 135 proof. 135 proof. Not too shabby. So here we go. Well, smells good. A lot of brown sugar here. Like, um, really intense brown sugar. After that, some cardamom. Lots and lots of cardamom. Brown sugar and cardamom on the nose, big time. Okay, going to go to the palate. Wow. I need 
wait a minute. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. That's just tingly. I mean, I tasted that. It just grabbed a hold of my tongue and just really held on to it and just tingled all the way down my palate. Kind of curled underneath. Uh, I felt it going all the way down like the Kentucky Hug didn't burn. Just a nice warmth all the way down. But it's all entirely mouth coating. I can feel it on every inch of my palate. It's tickling the roof of my palate. It's curling in underneath my tongue. It's kind of dripping down the jaw lines. I can feel it all in every, everywhere this whiskey touches. It tingles. It tingles in a good way. Mm. Damn. All right. So I told you how it felt. Now I'm going to tell you how it tastes. so good <sighs> this um, this reminds me of a derby pie which is a trademark so it's it's like a, a you know people will try to imitate derby pie but they're the company that makes derby pies Kern's kitchen this is derby pie Kern's Kitchen in a glass. It is spectacular with that notes. After that, uh, I'm going to go back to this cardamom note. This cardamom note is, um, I smell it, I taste it, it's all throughout. And if you like cardamom, it is really just right there, front and center, all the way through. And I don't think I have ever had cardamom in George T. Stagg. I'd have to go through my notes over the years, but it's not coming to memory of having that particular note. That is a special, special note. Oh boy. I'll taste it again. Let's see what uh what are some of the secondary notes I get. So the two primary notes I are I am getting Derby Pie, uh, which you can look up that recipe online. Well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna Google it right now. Now this is a trademark, so you know the derby pie um you can't you cannot duplicate this and then sell it and call it a derby pie because they will sue you that happens uh frequently uh but let me tell you what this um let me tell you what this recipe is okay my computer just went bad shit crazy sorry about that okay um uh, basically pecan vanilla uh brown sugar chocolate uh, bourbon. They throw bourbon in this part. This uh, it's a chocolate pecan pie. Sometimes walnuts. Basically, all that together in one bite. Derby pie. Okay. Secondary notes. <laughs> this smells so good. Mm. Mm. it's tickling my lips like it's actually it never actually physically touched my lips my lips are tingling it's like a mouthgasm going on up in here okay I, I gotta taste it again sorry actually <laughs> you know what I'm not sorry I'm not sorry at all I'm going to taste it again. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay. All right. Where was I? All right. There's a lot going on here. Uh, derby pie, cardamom, and probably about 72 different notes that um, I would like to sit down and try to analyze a little bit more. But because I got to talk to the camera talk to you all I can't uh, I can't break into it as uh, deeply as I'd like but let's just say some spices uh, a lot of uh, brown sugar um, 
and I would say if you're looking at that kind of like hints, the third, that kind of third thing, the where we where I would say hints and then slight hints of, um, I'm getting a cayenne pepper note. Uh, I get a uh, kind of a kind of a, a lime zest, like some kind of citrus, but I would say it's very specific. It feels like a lime. Um, and then a, a slight hint of, of hazelnut, which would, wouldn't be too far from like the, like the Derby pie note, but there's just, there's a lot going on here and you, and you have to, you have to accept that if I'm writing about this and I'm doing the tasting notes on it, I am tasting it over 30 minutes and jotting everything down in a book and then typing it out uh, versus a video, which is like my reaction over a course of six minutes. So it's a very different process. But I know when I love something and I absolutely friggin love this. And now I'm going to taste it for the finish. Incredibly long finish, like it hasn't stopped being on my tongue the whole time. I just keep tasting more of it because I can. Um, <laughs> the dominant flavor that's popping up here is probably chocolate. I probably get in, you know, it's a part of the pecan pie, but it finishes incredibly long, extremely long um, with a hint of chocolate. So there you go. That's my that's my review, official review on the George T. Stag from the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. Uh, I have also today reviewed this year's Weller, this year's Handy, and um, uh, the Eagle Rare, and now the Stag. The only one I have left is the Sazerac Rye. So I will be reviewing that probably tomorrow or Thursday. But that's going to do it for this tasting review. If you'd be so kind, click the subscribe button. Learn what's going on in this community. If you want to get deeper into it, uh, get some exclusive content and access to my first access to my barrel picks, uh, head on over to Club Marzipan, which you can find in the uh, description. But that's going to do it, folks. Be safe out there. And remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used to clean up the murder scene of a dead cat. Cheers. <laughs>